he told me, he said, brother, he said, uh, I'm not uh, trying to make you afraid. Right. He said, because I can see that you're not afraid. He said, but he said, this man is really a beast. You know, he said, this man is really a beast. He said, he's, a, he's an animal. You know? So I said, well, why you say that? And he said, well, I, uh, I'm coming back from doing 14 years in the room building. Now the room building is for the criminally insane. Yes, sir. So yeah, well, what, what you doing? Uh, what was you doing in, in in the room building? He said, well, he said, uh, I was doing a seven day fast, you know, and uh, on my seventh day, I come into the, the the lesson. Why does Muhammad or any Muslim murder the devil? Uh, what is the reward of each Muslim in regard to four devils? What reward does a Muslim receive by bringing and presenting four devils at one time? He said that he thought that he was supposed to get him four heads. Yes, sir. And say he walked into the bar on Broad Street, yes, sir. 1947, you know, walked up behind, uh, Caucasian on the bar and pulled his head off, you know. And uh, he said that he, he nobody, he said nobody made a move. I, I guess not, you know. <laughs> you know it was probably wondering, am I dreaming? You see? Yes, but anyway, he he left out out of the bar, walked around the corner of Halsey Street. By that time, the police had caught up with him. They had been told what had happened and whatnot. And uh, they shot him five times, you know. They shot him in the head, they shot him in, in, the, in the chest, they shot him in the back. And uh, matter of fact, he said that, this is his, his was just telling me now. As he was falling, he said he was still cutting, you know. So he woke up in the emergency room. At, at that time, it was uh, Martin Medical Center or the city hospital. He said and the doctors were saying uh, it was taking him in, and he woke up while they was taking him in the operating room, and he asked the doctors, "Was he gonna be all right?" And they said, "You goddamn right, you gonna be all right." <laughs> you know, cause they done shot him five times. Right. So anyway, to make a long story short, they they bring him back to health, and they sentence him to the to the room building for the criminally insane. Now, to, to look at him and to see him and to hear him, you wouldn't think right. that he was crazy, you know. I mean, the wisdom that he, he had, and then the, the, the physique, you know. But anyway, uh, we used to walk, and, uh, and uh, I started questioning him, you know. And I was angry anyway, because uh, they got me in here, and, Yes, sir. I'm trying to figure out what is my destiny? What am I, what's for me? What is it for me to do? My first thought was, mm-hmm. Now, they done got me in here. I'm on a false charge. Every time that I get out, every time I get out, or when I get out, every time I get a chance, I'm going to take care of one, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, as I would think, you know, lay on my bunk and think. I would say, no, nah, I can't do that because they'll catch up with me. You know, they'll, you know, yes, draw a noose around me. You know, I can't do that. You know, and uh, uh, the messenger was getting ready to go t to Mecca for the first time. And he came into New York. Yes, sir. And, uh, but I was locked up. So uh, my mother went. You know, and uh, uh, after she had went and came up to visit me, she told me what had went on, you know, some of the things that he had said. Right. And uh, then I began to uh, to pray, you know, for a lot to show me what it is that, I, that uh, you know, I, I have to do. And uh, while I was laying on my bunk, you know, uh, a picture 
of the messenger at the Mars Theater downtown yes, sir. came into my mind, you know, and uh, we were uh, honor guards, you know, we were on security, front rostrum that day that he came. Yes, and so I was looking out at all of these people and all I could see was faces, black faces. Yes, sir. And while I was seeing these black faces, I'm on land on my phone now. I said, I know what I can be. I know what I can be. I can be a minister of truth and justice. You know, I can teach the truth, and uh, he won't. They won't be able to catch up with me then. You know, because you teach one, he gonna teach one. That one gonna teach one, and it'll go like that. And I was inspired. And from that day till I got out, you know, I was uh, praying that Allah would bless you know, And uh, sure enough, you know, to make a long story short, when I got out, you know, uh, uh, the brothers was glad to see me coming home. And they came to my house. We was all shouting and whatnot. And uh, one of the brothers, uh, <coughs> Uh, was in Rawway, you know. One of the brothers' brothers was in Rawway, and uh, he was saying that uh, they needed a minister to come in from the outside. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he was going to stop the teachings inside. Okay. You know, and when it dawned on me that when you say stop the teachings on the inside, yeah, they, they 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 was letting them have meetings inside, but That's it was right. all from inside. That's right. And they were saying that if they didn't have a minister that came in from the outside, they was going to have to stop that. Okay. And I volunteered to go in. You know, that's me. how, you know, uh, I entered into the ministry. Yes, sir. You know, now, uh, when I went to the mosque and I said that to Minister James, you know, James Shabazz, uh, at the end of this, the meeting, you know, you have a question and right. answer. And I raised my hand. And he asked me, yes. He said, uh, what is it, brother? I said, well, brother minister, I says, uh, the brothers in Rawway prison, they need a minister to come in from the outside. They're having meetings on the inside now, but they're going to stop them from having the meetings if a minister didn't come from the outside. I said, I know that you're a busy man, you know, and, you know, you're doing a lot already. I'd like to be the one to go in the prison. <laughs> he wore glasses, you know. He took his glasses, put them, sit them down his door. He said, brother, he said, what did you say? I said, I'd like to be the one to go into the prison. So he said, well, brother, he said, you know they're going to try to kill you. I said, well, I can't go nowhere until it's my time. <laughs> so he said, well, I can't give you that kind of authority, brother. You know, that has to come from the message. He said, I'm going out this weekend, usually, you know. Right. They would go out to get their instructions. And uh, I'll ask the messenger. And uh, when I come back, I'll have an answer for you. So he went, and uh, we didn't see him for a few days. And then he came back, and I was walking by the bakery you know, where he was doing the baking. And he called me in. I came in, he says, Sound like him, brother. I said, Why him sound? He said, Brother, he said, uh, you can go into the prison. You're gonna go in as the field minister. Yes, sir. You know. He said, Now don't try to change no teachings, you know. You just go in and find out if the brothers need pencils or ink pens or or paper, you know, and stamps and stuff like that. Yeah. And but don't you don't you go in and try to change anything. So, yes, sir. So me and the, the brother that was the chief investigator, we went to Rawway Prison. Who was that brother? That you know? uh, his name was uh, Carlton X. Okay. Yeah, Samad. You know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we went went to Rawway. And uh, we tried to get in, and they wouldn't let us in. And uh, they told us we wasn't bona fide buses, okay. you know. And, and they wasn't letting us in, so we didn't get in. 
we went back to report to Minister James. <clears throat> and uh, told Minister James that they wouldn't let us in. They said we was not bona fide Muslims. And he laughed. And he said to us, he said, well, we didn't think that they was going to let you in. He said, but Allah got other ways of getting you in. And uh, uh, that was that right then. And uh, praise be to Allah, we went to Savior's Day. And at Savior's Day, uh, we was made the, the uh, field minister. Yes, sir. You know, uh, we was uh, standing with the mosque, our mosque, when Minister James came. And uh, he tapped me on the shoulder, you know, and he said, uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother minister. I said, Wa alaikum salam. I just responded, but I didn't know what he was saying, right? Yes, sir. And uh, all the brothers was happy because it was like the minister had been identified. But I wasn't thinking, nobody had not I don't, I'm just, I'm a baby. Right? Yes, sir. And uh, so he got ready to leave. And, he tapped me on the shoulder. He said, brother, you go with me. So I said, yes, sir. And uh, he left, but I stood right there because, right. you know, I I didn't know, you know. And he came back and he told me, he said, brother, didn't I tell you we, that you go with me? I said, yes, sir. I'm a soldier now. Yes, sir. So uh, we get downstairs and we get ready to get in the car. The car's full. You know, and the captain says to me, Brother Belvin, you can't go. Uh, Minister James, he says, all right, uh, brother. He says, it's only because the car is full. He said, but you be at the minister's meeting at 2 o'clock. Mm. Now, nobody don't know me. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just coming in, right? right. You know, so uh, <clears throat> praise be to Allah. Uh, before two o'clock, here come Minister James again with the photographer, you know, and he's taking pictures. Of he got me in the picture, right. all kind of pictures, right? You know, then he tells me again, he says, brother, you be at the meeting, the minister's meeting at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, was my response. But I don't know where no minister's meeting is gonna be. Yeah, I don't know the ministers, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, he leaves, you know. Uh, two o'clock come, you know, I ain't in the ministers meeting. Right. Here he comes again. Now he's hot, you know. Brother, didn't I tell you to be at the ministers meeting? Yes, sir, brother minister, but I don't know where no ministers meeting is. You know what I'm saying? And, and, don't nobody know me, you know what I'm saying, you know? So he said, well, you come on, you go with me. You going in as the field minister. So I, I don't know nothing about no field minister, <laughs> but I'm saying, yes, sir. So he takes me and I brings me into the, into the, the minister's meeting. Uh, all of the ministers in the nation is in there. Malcolm and the imam is teaching the class. You understand? Lucius in there. Which, which email? Um, the WD. Okay. Yeah, he was teaching the class. Him and Malcolm taught the class. Okay. You know, anyway, uh, he told me, brother, you going in as the field minister, the field representative. Mm -hmm. So I said, yes, sir. I'm only obeying. You know, yes, this sir. is my superior, right? Yes, sir. So we go in, and they're teaching on how to have a successful mosque, you know, how to build a su successful mosque. So we take notes. Wallace is teaching us. Yeah, thing. Wallace yeah. and Malcolm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, him and Malcolm. You know, they taught the class. You know. Uh, okay. So I take notes. And uh, at uh, uh, two o'clock, we go into the uh, we go into the main auditorium at the, for the messenger getting ready to speak. Right. Now, uh, Minister James, I come in with Minister James. Now, if you take me in the back where all the ministers is lined up, now I got to meet all the ministers. He make me shake the hand and introduce myself to each and every one of the ministers. 